Like a doll's eyes, chief. Here's another update on the powder blue tang. Um, he seems to be doing great. Uh, he swims back and forth in the tank all day long. Um, he hasn't really eaten anything at all though. The pellets, the frozen foods. I think I've had him for like three days now. And uh, still no signs of eating. He's still really fat though. So he's, he's got a long way to go before I feel like it's uh, going to affect his health. But one thing he does go nuts for is the seaweed. I put seaweed in the tank and he won't eat chunks of it. He doesn't really go up to it too much. Um, if he does go up to it, he'll rip a piece off until it uh, turns into like a bunch of little pieces in the tank and then he eats those little pieces. Um, he just goes around the tank grabbing little pieces of the seaweed. I got the seaweed, the, um, the cheap kind from Petco and it just kind of falls apart in the tank and he honestly loves it. It's like a flake food for him. He goes nuts over it. So, my camera's not really picking up his uh, his beauty right now because of the lights. It's uh, about to be bedtime, so. But he's, he's going around eating all the food. He seems good, no signs of ick. Even though I see a few spots on a single yellow tang. Um, the Emperor Angel's doing good. I've already noticed growth out of him. I have seen a few spots on him though, but I'm, I'm feeding this tank pretty heavily, so I'm hoping that everything just stays uh, um, secluded. I'm hoping that it just stays uh, dormant and doesn't really attack the fish. I hope there's not a huge case. I hope the fish's immune systems are good. My water, my water quality is good. Um, everything goes well. Um, my next plan for the tank is, of course, upgrading the pump on my skimmer and vodka dosing. Um, I just talked to uh, someone who owns a business today here in New York, um, and he said that he started vodka dosing and he loves it. He's got several accounts that he vodka doses at, and he just loves it. He loves the uh, results. So, also to uh, Kalkwasser. Um, and vinegar, I might try that instead of the Bionic I'm doing right now. Um, but but first thing first is the vodka dosing and removing my mechanical filtration. I'm gonna start with, uh, he recommended one milliliter a week. Um, and then I, I upgrade from there to one milliliter, two milliliters a week. Um, so I'm gonna get a, a dosing pump and we're gonna see how it goes so I mean I don't really need it right now but in the long run I feel like it's gonna really help out you know not having to clean my filter socks anymore all the time um, so yeah it's pretty much the plans for the, the tank right now see right now I'm trying to feed them uh, I got these pellets here it's a uh, These Formula 2 pellets, right now I have them soaked in Celcon, garlic, and the Vitachem I showed in a vi video a while back, and it absorbed all of it, so they're soaked in a bunch of nutrients, and I've just been dabbing um, little, little finger bits in the tank every time I kind of walk by, just a few bites for the fish. My, my main concern right now is the Emperor Angel, because I did some, see some spots on him. So, but everyone else I'm not really concerned about. Everyone looks great. The powder blue tang, I mean, this is his tank. So, corals look good. Um, I've been dosing uh, the recommended amount of Bionic uh, every week. I've been changing out the, um, the CO2 scrubber media once a week. Um, and I only do half and every other day I kind of take it out and shake it up and I guess actually in the directions for using this CO2 scrubber you're supposed to add a little bit of water in the bottom of it well I find I kind of find that the water evaporates um, every day so you have to like kind of keep putting it in there I mean I don't know if you're supposed to but that's what I've been doing um, also like I said I only fill it up halfway and I kind of take it out because 
so the color changes the media to purple um, once it's used up but sometimes I find that only a side of that media is turning purple like there's not an even distribution of oxygen going through it so I kind of take out the the media and I just shake it around give it a good shake and then it's all blended well again then I put it back in there add a little bit of water and that's it um, then I change it out every week every Monday I change that and I dose my Bionic but I might be switching over to the Kalkwasser and vinegar idea I don't know um, skimmers doing good I just cleaned it out pulling up some nice froth um, and lately honestly the the pump that I have for it the Petco bought cheap pump um, is not cutting it its quality has declined over in a few months time and it's just it's not even filling up my skimmer I mean I have my skimmer knob all the way closed the highest the water can go and it's it's barely making like a dry skim so I know I know I need to upgrade the pump I was thinking about one of the Barrios pumps there's one I think is listed at 2700 gallons per hour I think adding that one on there using the previous pump for more flow in my refugium with the Kato and uh, what else Let's see here we get the pump for that the Kato the vodka dosing and the cockwasser. I mean, once I add those, I don't see what could possibly go wrong in this tank. Maybe add a few more fish, a lot of inverts, a lot more coral. It's gonna be an awesome tank. Hopefully, uh, you know, my, again, my ick, my tank kind of stays uh, dormant. My fish stay um, immune strong and Everyone has a happy life, you know? All right, well, that's pretty much my update I just had for you guys. I uh, just wanted to show you my update. Beyond the sea, she's there watching for me. If I could fly like birds on a high, then straight to her arms, I'd go sail.